Can you hear me? Okay, y'all can hear me now. Hey, y'all. Well, thank y'all for coming out, first of all. I'm Adam. I'm from TikTok. I don't know how the hell I'm up here. <laughs> but anyway, um, so if your expectations for me on this show is up here, bring them down here and we'll all be good at the end, okay? Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just going to talk to That's going to be it, okay? Um, so anyway, I need five volunteers. Can y'all raise y'all's hand? Are y'all that scared? Five volunteers. Okay. Come right here. Come right here. Come right here. Come right here. Or you can sit right there. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. We can't count. One more. Come here, Lexi. Come right here. Oh, no. I don't think that Come on, Lexi. Okay. So what y'all out here for? Let's introduce you. What's your name? I mean, I know your name. You're all with me, but they don't know. Lexi. Lexi. This is Jennifer's daughter. Susan. This is Susan. Where are you from? Chattanooga, she's from Alabama. Right? Mary from Chattanooga. Karen from Houston. Denise from Atlanta. Okay, this is what I need y'all to do for me, okay? If there's ever any awkward silence, y'all don't laugh, okay? If it seems like I don't know what the hell I'm doing and nobody's laughing, y'all bust out laughing, okay? It'll make me feel better. Now, I'm gonna look at my notes. This is my first show, and I'm not gonna act like I know what I'm doing, okay? So I'm gonna do some introductions first. Okay, so this is my partner, Eric. We've been together 11 years. Now, in gay years, that's 100 years. You know, we don't usually last that long, okay? So anyway, I just wanna give congratulations. He's actually pretty good. He cooks, he cleans, I don't do none of that shit, okay? And he does it good. Like, I don't even know what the toilet paper's at. I mean, it never runs out. I did dishes the other day because I, I thought I was doing something. I texted him and I said, I did the dishes. He's like, okay, you should do that shit, you know? But then he had to call me the next day. He was like, well, where did you put Because I don't know where the shit goes. So anyway, like, he's real good, okay? Like, he's the best. So he takes care of me. I'm glad for him. But you know, being gay and in the South, sometimes that's a little struggle. And one of these questions are, not really, yeah, that's a question. That people always ask me, who's the man of the woman? If there's a woman in our relationship, I'm not gay and I'm doing something wrong because there's no business with them being there, okay? Sure. <laughs> and then people always like, they'll meet you now. Oh, it's okay to be gay. It's okay we're rude. I didn't damn ask you, sure. I, I mean, I'm not one that needs your validation. So, then, you know, that's just one of those things that goes on. And um, my friend Chastity, she's my best friend. I like to call her a fruit fly. You know, fag hag is not pulling in the no more. So she is my fruit fly because you know they call us gay folks fruity sometimes. So she's my fruit fly. And this is how I knew we were best friends. I don't know if it was Christmas. Was it Christmas, Chancellor? Thanks, Okay, we had a little Christmas for friends at my house and we got a little drunk. And I showed out. And she had to help carry me inside. And there's this little dog right there at my, and it ain't a real dog, it's a male dog, it's a bald head dog. And I got drunk and I went down and she caught me. And I was like, don't let that dog leave me in my face. And I ain't gonna go down. And so there we went. And I fell on her. And she farted just as loud. And we've been, I mean, we was friends before that, but that's how I knew she, I've been farting on her since then. I mean, I'm going far too, if I gotta fart, I'm not holding that for anybody, okay? So anyway, that's how I knew we were friends. Um, and then now, my mom, I don't know if y'all recognize her. She's the famous popsicle lady. Yeah. I did a video of her the other day, and she had 2.9 million views on Facebook. And she did not record her, y'all. She was eating one of those fudge popsicles. And I did my phone up like this. And she put that whole damn thing in her mouth and pulled it out. And I said, y'all, that's where I get it from. And she turned all shades of red. And so I sent her, I've been practicing. I practiced twice before tonight. And so I sent her the link to the and she said, you're not saying that about me. I said, well, I am. I absolutely am. She knew I was going to say that. But anyway, she's a good mom. You know, she's also the cleaning lady. I pay her to clean my house. She cleans real good, too. I mean, we was full of rock as kids. I mean, she put my belt in my belt loops before school, my pins in my pocket. If we was in trouble, we had to put up our folded clothes and take the trash out to the garden. We ain't gotta take it to the road. We just had to take it to the garden can. So she's pretty good. I like to give her hell, but, um, but now, she was mean too. She could be mean. 
She wasn't one of those mamas that said, wait till your daddy got home. <laughs> She'll take care of that shit herself. And if you ever seen in church, because we grew up Pentecostal, I know I don't act like we did, but we did. And if we was at her, she, this is how she would talk to him. <laughs> and my sister, she talks out the corner of her mouth. So if you ever see her talking out the corner of her mouth, she's mad or she's talking about somebody. <laughs> right? Um, listen. I got a little hand. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I was wondering if y'all was going to do it or not. So that was one. Chassie's one of, I got two and a half friends. I called Eric one of my friends, you know, just because I don't, I don't really got many friends. But my other half of friend, her ass is sitting at home. I said, are you coming to my show? She said, no, sure, you can come sit on my porch for 30 minutes for free. I'm not driving from Alabama. So that bitch probably gonna smoke a pack and a half of camels while I'm sitting up here <laughs> nervous about a damn show. So she's the half of the young friend, okay? So we ain't gonna count her. But Jennifer, Jennifer got mad when, I, when she saw that part in the video. She said, I'm not your friend. I was like, yeah, but it's social media. It don't count, you know, it's just. <laughs> oh, there she is. I thought she was in the back room. Uh, but we'll add you. We'll add you. No, we'll make it two, no, three no, old friends, no, okay? No, so y'all, um, I'm not going to say that, but y'all know I used to get started talking about work stories. I didn't always do the inspirational bullshit today. I just said something positive one day and I said that's it and it just went from there and I don't know how the hell that got started. But I always talk about the workhouse. And I'm not going to say their name, the old workhouse. I don't know them anymore. But I call it Cracker Hill where the crackers go, okay? Can y'all figure out where I used to work? Okay. I worked there during the pandemic, and we were shut down, too. And so they was like, and our managers shit, and I was the newest one there. And I said, oh, hell no, I'll back clean it. Because it was just us managers running the store. They was just working us to death. So I was back there cleaning, and I got a text from somebody I was training with. And she's like, they fire them. They fire them folks. I said, well, sure. I went out there to that damn dining room in front of that fireplace, and I said like this, and the other man said, what are you doing? I said, if you think that I'm going to be down cleaning, whenever they come and find my ass, you lost your damn mind. She said, you really going to sit there? I said, I'm going to sit my gay ass just like this and cross my leg and swing it. I said, because if they fire me, I said, I'm going to tear this whole up. I didn't say that one. Fireplace out and just, you know, I'm not doing it. Anyway, my GM came in while I And I was like, so am I gone? She's like, what you talking about? I said, don't play stupid with me while I'm here. She's like, I don't know. I don't know. Who did you hear that from? I said, I'm not telling you. She said, what store are they working at? I said, it ain't none of your damn business. I'm calling them. I said, am I fired or not? She said, I don't know. I said, well, damn, I'll be sitting right here when you decide if you know or not. So anyway, I didn't get fired. I wish I would have. That would have saved me a lot of hassle. I wouldn't have had to quit them. But um, <laughs> Cracker Hill was something else. The person was there. Oh, my goodness. So we had, um, I had this server. He was a little gay boy, too. He was a little bit more um, gayer than me. And, um, <laughs> Just for lack of better words, I don't know. Um, you know, we have levels sometimes. Tell you what level you think you're at? You're a, you're a gay level six, okay. Anyway, he might have been like an eight or nine, I don't know. But anyway, it was this group of men, and they were, I don't know if they're electricians, plumber, and they all dressed the same, they're sitting there. And I felt like they were being rude to me. And I said, well, I'm gonna go help him carry out his food, because I don't want anybody to be rude to my employees. So we went out there, and. You just tell them they're being rude. He was giving them the food, being sweet and everything. I said, can I get y'all anything else? You know, I had to pull out my straight boys. And they was like, hot sauce. I was like, what kind? Tabasco, Tallulah. They said, which of the hell one they pick? So I brought them out. I said, is there anything else I can get for you? They're like, no. So all you got to, sometimes you got to pull out your straight boys and that will solve everything. So if you ever get in my body, pull out your straight boys. So I have a system. Her name's Amy, and she can't be here because she got two badass kids for her. And would nobody keep them? My nanny would keep them. Well, Mama said I can't talk about her grandbabies. Okay? They are bad. Though. They are bad as hell. Well, the little girl ain't, like, the little boy is. But um, my sister, she's sweet as gold. But when she first started learning how to drive, we lived out in the country, so we've been driving forever. Well, we parked at the top of the hill, and my sister got in, and we Mama and her switched spots. My sister put it in gear and hit the damn gas, and we went that way. I said, what in the hell are you doing? She said, ain't R for ride? That bitch put in R for ride and took us for a ride, so I swear we got damn whiplash. 
So I'll never let her live that down, and I hope you got that on video so you can show her around. Because she didn't get to come, because I told her to come on up here and bring her husband, we could leave the husband, and let them take care of the kids. But even even the daddy don't want them, he's still with them, they're still being bad, sure. They're some badass kids, that little boy, he'll just lie. If he runs out of the truth to tell, he's gonna tell a lie just so he can keep talking. But now he's like his mom there. Now she don't lie, but she likes to talk. So he'll just make up shit so he can talk. But I don't work at Cracker Hell no more. I work, I work in fast food now. And I like that better because you ain't got all those people standing in line fussing about the damn wait time and this and that shit. And so I've been having a train in Montgomery, Alabama. And that's about an hour and a half drive from Alabama. And it sucks. But anyway, so I've been trying to work the drive through and I ain't no damn good at drive through sure, because I can't take your order, top your thing, take your money, make your drink, and hand you out the food. I can't only do one damn thing at a time. So I was in drive through the other day, and I was like, thank you for choosing the workhouse. This is Adam, and I hope you. He was like, I want the tenders. It was a guy. I was like, okay, what else can I do for you? And um, he was like, I was like, what? Can you say it one more time? I just can't hear you. I was like, your vehicle's too loud. He didn't have no loud ass vehicle. And he said it again. I said, just pull around to the window. So like, I'll get you up there. And he come up to the window and I said, baby, I said, please ask him what the hell he want. It was barbecue sauce. He's trying to talk sexy in the damn drive through window with that low ass voice. And so the drive through is not nowhere to be sexy. Fast food ain't sexy. I love it. Look at it. It ain't sexy. So don't be talking sexy in the damn drive through, okay? Then I was working drive through the other day and I answered. I said, thank you for choosing the workhouse, how may I help you? And they was like, um, yes, yes sir. I mean, yes ma'am. I said, no, you had it right the first time. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I said, don't worry, I've been called worse. And um, they call me ma'am all the time. But I'm just trying to damn be nice, you know, trying to, I'm just gonna use my straight voice. Sometimes I do it. <laughs> and then I run and hide, because I'm like, thank you for choosing the workhouse, how may I help you? And then, when they get in the window, they see a real girl. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny because I'll be peeking around the corner. <laughs> but um, anyway, so that's, that's all I got to tell y'all for real. Um, can we give a happy birthday to uh, Tina and my best friend Chastity? Who else has a birthday around now? What's your name? Who? Beth. You trying to talk? I can't hear. <laughs> Bethany. I'm sorry. Well, anybody else? Well, anyway, hey, I'm not singing up here by myself. This is not a concert. This is a damn comedy show. Anyway, I wanted to tell Tina, Bethany, and Chastity happy birthday. Thank y'all for coming out. This is it for me. I hope I didn't.